in this given question we have a large tray of mass m so let us assume that this is a tray of mass m we don't know the dimensions of tray okay so we assume that the tray is uh, very large right we can also assume a infinite large tray and on which we have a ice cube whose mass is small m and whose edge is of length l and what is given is if the ice melt then what will happen its center of mass will change so what will be the change in the center of mass that we have to find so when ice melts what will happen as the tray is very large all the ice will melt down and convert into water so uska jo center of mass that is its center of mass will become down and uh, it will be nearly zero if i assume this as a reference point let us assume this is my reference point so that reference point is here so if we assume that this is y axis then the center of mass of this ice cube will be at a distance of l by 2 now what is the equation for the center of mass of a system so let's say y cm here it is solved in the form of uh, x cm uh, let us not consider this solution okay so your y cm will be equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 divided by m1 plus m2 if we put this data here then m is the mass of this uh, tray uh, let us assume that the center of mass of the tray with respect to origin is y1 that we don't know so let us keep it as it is plus mass of uh, that uh, ice is small m and center of mass is at l by 2 because for symmetric body the center of mass is lies at its geometric center which is here l by 2 in the y axis because this is my origin with respect to this the center of mass will lie at l by 2 and the total mass is m plus m now when ice melt the new center of mass is y cm dash so uh, when the ice melt the center of mass of this water will be zero because now it is completely in a horizontal plane it's a very single line very small right so nearly the y cm will be equal to zero the new center of mass of the water okay so for water it will be zero here so now we can again write this equation as m y1 because for the tray there is no change in the center of mass but for water it is m into zero divided by m plus small m so we have to find the change in the center of mass so we are subtracting uh, from this equation we are subtracting this one okay so from equation 1 we are subtracting equation 2 so when we subtract this this term which is at the uh, denominator will be common so let us assume d is the change so it is 1 upon uh, capital m plus m is common so now we will subtract Uh, this uh, uh, equation number two from one, so it is m y one, which is here, plus m l two minus we have this term m y one because this term is zero, so this and this will get cancelled, so our answer will be m l two. It is l by two, right? So it is m l by two because this everything will be removed, so d will be equal to. Uh, here it is m l by 2 it is m l by 2 and what is in the denominator it is capital m plus small m so this is our answer